What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment and I'm here to bring to you my takeaway and analysis video for the game that just went final versus Georgia. Um, there's not a whole lot I can say, not too much to analyze with this game. Um, it's just one of those things where you know I've always preached and let people know as far as you know my analysis of things that games are won and lost on the line of scrimmage um, you know if your line plays better than the other team's line you stand a good chance of winning the football game and you know for the majority of the season that's what Michigan has done in order to win these games they pretty much bullied teams pushed them around, did what we needed to do, and get the victory. Well, this game, the tables were turned. Georgia, from start to finish, pushed us around on both the offensive and defensive lines. And because of that, I mean, that was the game in a nutshell. Um, you know, on offense... Our line really didn't do a whole lot to get any push against their defensive line. Cade or JJ, whoever was back there, was under pressure all the time. Uh, couldn't really get the running game going because of that. And uh, because of that, our offense struggled. On the flip side, on defense, I mean, we didn't really do anything, you know, there wasn't really any pressure that we got on the on their on their offense. They had a great game plan where the ball the ball got out real quick, a lot of swing passes, a lot of throws to the back, a lot of quick screens, uh, and it just looked like we were just a step slow on that. And it was just like they were just throwing these quick quick hitting uh, plays to the outside, and they were just going for like eight, nine yards, then they'd run it, then do the exact same thing. It's just like we were totally and completely off guard from that standpoint for the whole game. So we got dominated from start to finish on both lines, and it showed, and just, um, it was just, that was the difference in the game. Um, you know, it, it's... Is interesting the way I looked at this game and the outcome. I just I thought about the Iowa game, but in reverse. You know, it was just like before you could blink, we were down fourteen to nothing. It's like they came out, they punched us in the mouth, took the ball, took it all the way down the field, <clears throat> real quick, scored. No, we, we moved the football initially on our first drive, and then we stalled, went for and forth down, couldn't get it, and boom, right away, they hit us with that trick, trick play, and now we're down 14-0. to zero. And it's just like, once they punched us in the mouth, we just, we never recovered. We had like a glass jaw, you know, we, we, got, hit in the, we got hit in the mouth, and... You know, for the first time this season, you know, we were down big and down big in a hurry. And, you know, I think what I mentioned, like, one of the keys to the game I felt was who was going to get the lead early. Because, you know, we both teams like to run the football, not necessarily pass the football. But whoever teams got team got up early and could just sit back and rely on their defense was going to be the team that won. And once we got down early like we did, it was it was game over. You know, hats off to Georgia. They have a really good defense. Um, you know, we scored 11 points. Eight of that it was in garbage time. So we really only scored that one field goal. And we were lucky to get that. Um, <coughs> you know, Cade... Kid didn't have his greatest game. You know, obviously that George's defense had something to do with that. But 
all in all, just didn't have a good game. A lot of bad throws, um, drops, you know, tip balls from, you know, the way he likes to throw the football. You know, not the conventional over the top, always sidearm, which can be a problem if you're not, you're not like 6'6", and, you know, if you're going not over the top, you have the tendency to get your ball tipped, which is what happened, so, it was just a rough game, I, I was, man, I was just embarrassed to watch, <coughs> So, you know, we got the, overall, we got the, the, the matchup that I guess everybody wanted. Alabama versus Georgia again. whoop de doo um, You know, I, I wish, I wish that we could have came out better, played better, given Georgia <coughs> a better run for their money. You know, I'm, I'm. I will say this: I'm, I'm happy that we made it to the, to the semifinals. Um, you know, I know there's some people out there that hate the fact that we got blown out and probably feel that it would have been better off for us not to make the semifinals, as opposed to get blown out and embarrassed like we did. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not one of those people. Uh, regardless of the fact that we got blown out. I'm happy that we made the college football playoffs for the first time. You got to get your feet wet. You got to experience this type of loss <clears throat> in order to try to get better. You know, if you never make it there, how will you know how it feels to lose like that? So, I'm happy that we made the football playoffs. Obviously, I'm not happy with the result. In the game, I would have wanted us to win, obviously. And if not win, at least make it a competitive game where it came down to the wire and I get blown out. But <clears throat> all the same, I'm happy that we made the football playoffs. And hopefully we can build upon this for next season. <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to see what we do as far as the quarterback situation for next year, um, whether or not Cade sticks around, or if he he moves on, he you know goes. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. Um, you know, obviously JJ is the future of the team, and um, you know, obviously he's going to be the one. That's going to be uh, the guy that gets the, the majority of the snaps. Whether that's next year or not, we don't know. But he's obviously the future of this team. So it's going to be interesting to see how things work out as far as that goes and whether or not he takes over the starting job. If Cade takes it still, what does JJ do in the future? <coughs> so all of that's going to be interesting to see. Um, I'm not even going to bother to do the breakdown of the you know the grading of the different position groups because what's the point like I said there's not too much to analyze from this game um, you know we just got beat down from start to finish and <coughs> the only thing that we can do from this is learn um, learn from this feel the the you know, how it feels to lose, you know, take in how it feels to lose the way that we lost, and, you know, allow that to channel into next year so we'd be even more focused to win. You know. <clears throat> I really did, so, you know, I really did think that we were going to win this game, so it wasn't just me uh, just saying I thought that we are going to win when I didn't really believe it. I really did think that we had a good chance of winning. Um, you know, Bennett played really good. Uh, their offensive line played really well. 
and the game plan was perfect. You know, Aiden really didn't do a whole much, a whole lot of anything for the whole entire game. Jabo didn't really do anything. You didn't really hear them calling their names because, <clears throat> for the most part, they didn't really have a chance to do anything. The ball was out real quick, um, and when it wasn't, they made plays on the ground, or you know whether it be a, a slant or uh, you know basically uh, taking advantage of our coverage and making plays on the field. <clears throat> feels as though Georgia was ready for us, but we weren't ready for them. You know, they had plays to counter what we like to do. Um, you know, the, the wheel route absolutely annihilated us in this game. So, obviously they saw th certain things on film that, you know, we, I guess, weren't aware of or you know, didn't really think that was going to be a factor, but obviously it was. So, you know, going forward, we got to learn from this, you know, watch the film and see what Georgia did in order to completely, <clears throat> you know, have the, you know, the game in their favor. And then, you know, try to game plan and work against, you know, work with that in order to be better for next year. So, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please feel free to leave a like on the video. Let me know how you felt about the game in the comment section below. Um, are you bummed out like I am with the result? Um, are you just happy that we made the, the football playoffs and it doesn't even matter the end result? Let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Uh, and if you like my content, definitely subscribe to the channel as it definitely helps me out in the long run. Anyways, thank you for watching the video, and as always, go blue.